Good morning, everyone. First of all, welcome to this session. And before we begin, uh, can any uh, can everyone hear me loud and clear? Like, please put in the chat if you are able to hear me fine. Okay, okay. And let me switch on the video. Okay, awesome. Cool then. I think uh, it's 10.01 and we had decided, right, to start with the meeting. So we'll start. And basically, the agenda or what we will be discussing today is about the power of LinkedIn. So for everyone who is joining, who is not aware of what LinkedIn is, we will be discussing how can we build a very good profile on LinkedIn and how basically LinkedIn will help us in terms of uh, upscaling our careers, in terms of the very main question that we have is finding a good job, right? So we will be discussing all of that. And this will be an interactive session. So you can, you guys can post your questions about anything that you have. We will see some of the things on LinkedIn itself. I'll show you my profile and what we can improve, right? How you can send connections or small, small details on LinkedIn, which will help you to basically build a very good profile on LinkedIn and will ultimately help you to find up and probably increase your chances of getting a good job or upscaling your career if you're not wanting to make a move, but wanting to grow your skills, right? All good with that. So. We will start and keep posting your doubts about LinkedIn. And meanwhile, I'll keep seeing them and I'll keep reviewing them and replying to you. Yep. OK, OK. Okay, everyone can see the slides like we will be using less of slides more of talking and more of actual going to LinkedIn and doing what we want. But like for people who do not know what LinkedIn is or how they can leverage it. I just kept kept a one or two slides basically about what LinkedIn is and what is the difference between other platforms if you want to apply for a job. First of all, can you yeah. Krishna, we will uh, answer that question as well. Uh, can anyone val validate that they can see the slides fine? They, like they are able to, okay, cool. Okay, let us begin this session, right? So first of all, basically, we'll just very, very quickly, basically uh, answer the question, what is LinkedIn? And like we are all right today in this today's session, but why should we even use LinkedIn? And first of all, this is not even sponsored by LinkedIn or any, any itself. I find LinkedIn to be a very useful tool. And I'll give you examples of that, two real life examples in my life and in most of my friends' life. So basically, LinkedIn, you can consider it as a Facebook or a meta of the corporate world, right? In Facebook, you have friends, right? You can chat with those friends. You, have, you can see in your face what those friends are doing. In LinkedIn, you can see in the corporate world, those friends are called connections. And those connections will basically help you upskill your careers, go on to a very good profiles, right? So for anyone who is not yet uh, very much aware of, about the usage of LinkedIn or what is the difference between LinkedIn and other job portals, for example, there are other websites that help you get some jobs as well, right? The difference between this and LinkedIn is in this, you will be able to stay connected with the basically industry. You can send kind of connection requests or shall I say friend requests to those connections. You can chat with them or you can uh, uh, ask for a referral with them, which we will cover in the upcoming slides, but on a very, very simple language. Okay. LinkedIn is basically kind of a platform in which all the corporate world entities are together. Like I am there and suppose, suppose uh, uh, 
a VP, a vice president of, of a very big company is also there. And all of the members of the, within the same company, which I ultimately want to join are there, right? I could send connection requests to them. I can see from my feed uh, what is happening within, like if there is an opening or not, or not. So like that, all of that jazz, right? Is what LinkedIn enables us to do, right? So this will be very, uh, like, I'll basically show my LinkedIn profile to you and we will see what we can do. But the main question on the agenda for today is, right? How to build a good profile on LinkedIn and what will it enable us to do, right? So I mentioned to you all that LinkedIn is basically a platform in which you can send requests to connections, right? Those connections basically are people. Uh, which are in the corporate world and you can consider them as your friends or followers right so suppose you send a connection request to me first let's look at the word connections first you send a connection request to me i am from uh, a certain company so and so right and you ask me hey Hirsch, is such an opening available in your company now the chances are increased right i accept your request Right, you ask a very relevant question. I want to apply in your organization, and uh, this is a job like we will cover in these upcoming slides. Like this is this is the job. Yeah, we will send the PPT. So this is a job I want to apply, Harsh. Uh, do you have an opening in your organization? So I will check. Like most, it's not that ten out of five or six, four or five times the connections will reply to you. If not immediately, but sometime later. I might reply, hey, currently there is a freeze going on. So I will let you know when the hiring freeze is unpaused. Or I will say, hey, I can refer you for this position, right? So that is why building a good profile will help you basically uh, to send those connection requests and to get the validation. So suppose I am on LinkedIn, I have zero followers and nothing is kept, right? And I even apply for a job, my profile is not maintained right there is uh, like zero followers i haven't put in put my professional display picture which is not mandatory but still my header is also not there none of my education background is there right none of my skills are updated which we will cover so if you apply for a job or ask for a referral to some connection from an organization they might think that this is not a very like this is not a very uh, official profile right whenever a connection like suppose you send me a request right and ask me and message me that hey Harsh, uh, i want to apply for this job in your organization so the first thing that i do is i open your profile and i check what are your ed educational backgrounds are you fit for the profile for which you are asking the question to me right and then i see basically what is your ed educations or kind of, which is not mandatory, but still having a very good profile. Like what are your skills? Like if you are applying for a data scientist job, right? And if you have all those skills in the LinkedIn, right? It will help me validate and I can see, and if your resume is also there, it will help me validate. Yeah, so this is a good candidate. And then I'll quickly review your resume and all, and I'll refer you. But at the same time, if the profile is not updated, then most of the connections might not even go with the effort of looking at your resume in the end. They might see, oh, no, no skills are there. Education background is like they will not. You have to you have to sell yourself very quickly, basically, right? You are making efforts to upskill yourself. You are doing all of that. But in the end, the final product, if the final product is not in a very good format, then it will not help, right? So basically, LinkedIn is a final kind of a uh, product of all the efforts that you are doing. You have done your educations, you are doing all of that learnings, you are attending workshops, you are making projects. So LinkedIn is basically the UI, right? The backend work is all the efforts that you guys are doing. You guys are on 10 a.m. today, right? On a Sunday morning. So this is very appreciable for every one of you. You could, you could be sleeping, you could be watching some YouTube videos, you could be watching Netflix and everything. But those efforts are basically what LinkedIn basically kind of portrays in the end. So now getting to that question, the advantages of building a good profile on LinkedIn. So this is what I've mentioned first, that better chances of landing into a job, 
right suppose for a fresher out there he would want to land in a new job but if like for someone who is experienced right they basically want to change their jobs or upskill them then maintaining a good profile will definitely help and suppose if you send send a connection request or if you apply for a job on linkedin the hr views your profile there was a time when re uh, resume was also viewed but now linkedin profile is also considered as one of the steps to review your profile right if you specifically if you apply for a job on linkedin and even the connections like suppose you send a request to a senior data scientist from a so and so organization right and you say i want to apply for the job they will also first hand look at your profile so better chances if you have a good profile right then staying up to date to with what's happening with the industry right so suppose uh, there is an organization which i want to apply sending connection request having a good profile will help me stay up to date right what is happening within the organization right are there openings for this particular role right and if you are within the data science also many of like linkedin is not just about jobs and everything right like even this data science like even the workshops that we are having on data bow we send those posters we send those forms on linkedin right so staying up to date with what's happening right so basically uh, if you have some of the workshop being organized in some of, in and someone is organizing them for free like data about it for sql so linkedin is a platform which basically uh, enhances all of that because all of the relevant corporate people are there who really want to learn that skill so staying up to date in the industry is important right if i what i do is if i uh, use instagram kind of as a platform and send all of these uh, workshop details the retention would be less because relevance of people is coming though right on linkedin all of those people are there who want to upskill those careers who want to apply for a new job who want to learn new skills so staying up to date is important if you want to improve your skills there are various resources on linkedin as well for various workshops being organized various resources being shared by data scientists data analysts who are experts in their fields they share their valuable uh, insights on that so having a good profile sending those connection requests helps in the end and then like i mentioned learn and grow from a lot of resources right there are various pages that were created on linkedin data bow has created and we will be having sharing multiple resources basically on that page and there are various other pages as well various free resources or any pdfs for cheat sheets for sql cheat sheets for data science so that that helps right you do not have to go from step a and search yourself on google or anything you can directly see what the experts are wanting experts are sharing right and that follow people who are experts in the field this helps a lot basically if if there is uh, an expert in the field you, you like i myself learned a lot from those people like kind of mirror them in terms of what what they are studying right like in data science for example i follow certain experts i get to know that oh this is also a model i could learn they share their details right i could i look at their profiles like uh they started their careers in this and this and this okay now this is what they are doing so i could basically learn from them and lot of events and free workshops are also being organized like this is a free workshop and most of the details we sent on linkedin first and then mails first you get to know a lot of resources from linkedin so these are basically some of the advantages but one of the main advantages is basically upskilling yourself or landing into a new job upskilling into a uh basically new profile or an updated profile if you want right so this is basically what i want is i will be sharing my linkedin profile as well we will be looking at it so do not get into the words of it but i just wanted to wanted you all to know that building a good profile will definitely help and i will share examples with you right and basically connections like i said is like friends or followers right on the linkedin profile now good linkedin profile requirements like this is where basically how we build a good linkedin profile now 
First of all is that keep your profile updated. This is very important. Your education, your experience, your skills about profile headers. And I will share, share that with you as well. And a decent professional picture. This is not mandatory, but a good to have. And one of the thing is send connection request to relevant people. This is very, very, very important. First of all, guys. Right. So the thing is, uh, suppose I'm in data science field. So I send connection requests to all of the relevant people in data science team, right? So suppose I want to join someone in my organization, like before, uh, joining, uh, basically I was in Paytm as well. So before joining Paytm, right, I send a connection request to all of those people in Paytm and all of the data scientists and every, everyone. So just to get a hang of what is there an opening within that, because most of the people share on their feed that, Hey, uh, Paytm is hiring for this, or suppose that Athena Health is hiring for this, which I am a part of uh, current organization, right? So sending connection requests to relevant people is very important and keeping your profile updated. When I say profile updated, I'll show you basically what all the things are important uh, when, uh, in terms of the profile updates and then take quizzes on LinkedIn. This is not mandatory, but sometimes I've, I've seen that basically if we have those tests on very, there are certain small quizzes on LinkedIn, which if you pass, LinkedIn says that, that this is, uh, this candidate has passed the assessment on LinkedIn. So this helps in manners. Like if you have, if you apply for a job on through LinkedIn, LinkedIn kind of basically, uh, keeps at the top, those profiles. Sometimes if there is a tie between profiles who have passed certain quizzes on LinkedIn and certain HRs from certain organizations could give importance to this field as well. So this is very, like very simple. If you know a particular skill like SQL, you just click on the quiz tab for SQL and pass it. This is not at all mandatory, but a good to have like the decent professional picture. And the fourth, fourth thing is stay consistent. It's not that you come today, right? And you do all those updates and then you leave LinkedIn and you open it after one week or so. Open it again, like day on day. You, the usage you have on YouTube or Instagram, just scroll through LinkedIn, send connection requests to relevant people, see what's on your feed. You might just see a very good feed about some certain jobs or certain basically, uh, uh, basically requirements or certain free workshops, right? So that is how basically what is important in terms of building a good profile. Now, what I'll do is I'll share my LinkedIn profile. Like we'll see, we'll see together all of us, basically how we can update that profile or what are the good things about it, right? So basically this is, this is how my LinkedIn profile was, is currently, right? And I'll share some examples with you as well. Like this is basically the experience, like let me zoom in if I can, let me zoom in, right? So what I have is I have updated, basically, I have an updated resume, uh, sorry, experience, right? So first of all, right from my college, like I have uh, this, first of all, put in my education here, you can elaborate on those CGBA. This is not important, but a good to have certain organizations basically need it, but certain do not. So CGP or anything is not important after, uh, in the corporate world, your skills matter in the end, but updating it like you cannot put it like it's fine if you don't put cgp or anything it's okay but just keep it updated in that sense that this is my education my 10 12th and everything right and keep your experience updated basically right so basically first of all i was in axa then i joined ptm after it and then i joined athena health and for for your um basically information both ptm and athena health are the organizations which i acquired through the usage of linkedin so basically ptm i also got through linkedin right and athena health is also an organization i got through linkedin i will share with you basically how i got that whereas people generally put uh, actual work experience in respective works in one or two liners in experience tab is it required so you can you can attach some descriptions to those uh, 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 basically what, what the work you do in these organizations as well, right? You can put what the work you are doing, like basically, uh, in PT I've just put a very, very small content of it. So at the end, it's okay to put it, but not mandatory. But if you know, but if you are putting at it, then make it not an essay kind of format, put it in bullets, Raj. It's like, I'm, I'm within the data science team. This is the models I'm de de developing. I'm within this particular 
zone within the team right so basically there are various zones in B, like in a b2c organization i am working in the payments team for example and this is the things that i'm working on do not put it in an essay format just think that if someone is uh, if someone is basically uh, kind of reviewing your profile for the first time all the catchy details should uh, they will be they should be able to see all the catchy details in the first 5 minutes itself why to duplicate it so basically the thing is viraj the thing is viraj the when you share your linkedin profile to connections they might not go with the effort of clicking on your resume and if you apply for jobs through linkedin right uh, they might not look at your resume first your linkedin profile poster and everything is viewed first right so basically that is the way that is the reason why linkedin profile building is important in the starting there are 10 out of 10 out of 2 times the connections will first uh, will go with the efforts of looking at your resume they will first look at your profile so okay this is, this is the candidate right this is the education background education is not very much important this and first is the they will look at the experience like if suppose uh, there is a 4 year requirement for this they will directly look over oh, he has worked one or two years in this this is in this in this okay this is fine and the same candidate is within business analytics within data science okay right and then they might look at your skills as well this is not important the endorsement or everything is not important but they might just look at this headers so this is what i viewed like for candidates i am interviewing or not right so basically we look at the skills not the endorsements so do not ever worry about the endorsements you will see all the sql data ana analysis data science put all all of your skills here whatever it is right and one thing is one very important thing is uh, do you, for everyone uh, do you see this product analytics at the this this header can anyone can everyone see this this is this is really 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 important why because most of the times the connections or anyone might not even open your linkedin profile right so they might just they might just look at it from the search and see like like this that this is i have opened but in all of the people like if there are various search here right they might just keep look at this right and basis this they might open the profile so keep this header updated basically like if you are in data science put data science at the rate whatever your organization is and basically this what i put is just to signify what my other previous organizations were not mandatory but you can put it but uh this is really important for everyone right uh, who is within a job anupam i'll cover for freshers uh who is within a job they can put it right uh if they are in data science this will basically help for all of those uh, people who are reviewing your profile whether you are in the correct profile or not and for freshers suppose you are wanting to go into uh, like like during my time when i was in college i was a fresher i i i put a data science enthusiast or something like that and if you are not confident that you are data science enthusiast data analyst and just put your college name for the time being not at all uh, like uh, necessary in the front you have to put the data science enthusiast or everything right put your college name studying at this uh, you can put slash uh, data science enthusiast interested in uh, but just keep keep that header very precise basically do not write huge liners over there like that i what if i add i am interested in data science not that right so so basically from the profile what are the key takeaways is keep your header intact very important because most of the times when people send me requests and they send me a lot for those uh, referrals or everything and for everyone else i first look at the headers first of all and not that i do not open it but th that helps basically right and then the display picture not important but having having a good decent professional like for mbas and everything right you have a very decent professional picture right so keep keep it not that you are sitting like this or you are sitting staring away something like this a, a, a decent picture with her not that you have to go to the you have to uh, put on a suit here or everything right a decent if you think that is decent is fine but not uh not in the sense because this is a corporate platform so if you are sending some connection request to an hr right so they might they might give importance to these things as well 
the picture because these are things that the uh, human resources team might have a look at they are very uh, basically uh, uh, adamant in some of the details of your profile then then they might look at your resumes as well and in the resume workshop with shrey tok right he uh, added a lot of points on how we can add add a resume then then the third about is this about section in your profile right do not put an essay into it right you can put bullet points also into it but whatever your interest or whatever you are doing just put it do not try to keep it blank this basically kind of confirms that you are active on linkedin or you are do, you are basically uh, knowing your game basically just two or three lines is okay just put whatever your interest is uh, anubham is saying sir i am working as faculty of sql and python for 10 and 12 student uh, and i want career transition in data science so uh, can i mention our experience as a sql and python faculty yeah yeah you can it's fine just that if someone uh, like if you apply for a job or anything if someone asks you what this experience means you should be confident in explaining that right you should be confident and not that you could put it as a uh, like suppose like i'm giving an example i'm doing some activity and it's a part time activity just that right i can put it in that not every experience is supposed to be basically so experience will count in these experience will count for many uh, like if certain profiles you are doing like suppose many data science profiles need certain requirements need certain years of experience and they need you to be uh, well versed in some of the techniques right so base is that it's not that uh, basically that if you are not at all versed in some predictive analytics if you do not know what linear regression or everything is they might not take you but it will help you go from step a to step b that is the interview process right and the next question is if i want to completely move into a new role from data engineer to data analyst then how to manipulate my work experience in linkedin as i haven't worked in anything and want to apply do not manipulate it keep it uh, keep your profile honest and because if you manipulate it you will get looped in into your own lies basically if you want to move the data engineering and data data analyst a very good thing is they are linked together you mod you would build all those pi pipelines and in the end data analyst data scientists are using that so that is a very good thing that when you move on to you, uh, a data analyst or data science profile you have a very good basically experience on building those pipelines it will help so keep it honest right whatever even if i'm uh, even if i was preparing for upsc for the past 5 years right i will put it that i was in preparing but now i want data science and why do i want it because i am interested in data science and this is what i am learning keep it honest every time do not put anything fishy or anything at all right so next is this experience that we discussed this is really important put all your uh, experience in this whatever you have whatever you are for freshers uh, not a, not important during my college time i had put the education in this you could uh, basically put uh, data like for freshers is not really very important in the experience part you can mention the education part because in the end uh, when they see your profile they will know that uh, like if i am from 2021 to 2027 to like four years or something like that so they will see that this guy is doing college from this so okay with that i have a career gap of 7 years how to build that profile if you have a career gap of 7 years so first of all if you had a uh relevant industry before that put your experience in it right and then uh, do not mention anything in the experience after that right then basically you apply for the jobs or you send those connection requests and you can put that headers as well you have to basically upskill yourself those career gaps linkedin certificate add up so sometimes not very much at the end at the end basically they might help it sometimes like one out of 10 times in securing uh some of the jobs through linkedin jobs which we will cover in the next one minute and for vinita i have a career gap of 7 years so it's fine you just have to stay honest with it and you have to upskill yourself put your experience here whatever it is be confident with it do not be worried about it at all put your experience here put all your educations here keep your profile updated be confident about it put your descriptions here you can uh 
uh, put in the about that I have a career gap of seven years, but I am uh, confident about learning data science and transition to data science or data analysis or any role or software development, anything, right? Uh, if you want, you can put your headers there that I was uh, X, like X, this and that, and uh, looking for a data, data science profile, right? And some of some of the people, what they do is there is a basically display picture here as well that open for work. You put there so that the connections know. Just that, be confident with your profile in the sense that just think that if I am looking at your profile for the first time, I should have all the relevant details, like your experience should be intact, your education, okay but it should be intact, your skills should be intact, your headers should be intact. So good vibe coming from the profile in the end. Now I will look at your resume then. Changing domain to data science, no worries at all. Just stay honest with it, right? Put, put this as this here, put your skills, basically uh, uh, whatever skills you are learning or in the end. But in the end, when you are sending those connection requests, right, which we will cover in the next one minutes, Tell them that I'm wanting to switch to a data science role. But after sending those connect, before sending those connection requests, make your profile intact. Do not, do not put anything uh, like out of the ordinary here that you are doing something else, which you are not. Switching domains is fine. Many of the people switch domains. What they do is at the time of interviews or at the time of uh, sending those connection requests or when someone is interviewing in the end, then they ask you that question. Why do you want to switch to a data science? Suppose if I'm into software development and I want to switch to a data science role, I should be confident in explaining that. Not just that uh, I like the data science profile, that's all. Have some backgrounds into it. Why do you like data science? Why do you want to switch it? Just stay honest with it because the interviewer will get to know like are you escaping software development or you are really interested in data science that's why you are switching right so this is how you can first like basically for everyone keep your profile intact and everything headers experience about uh, education and skills and the a very decent profile picture is fine now let us get back to one of the things is Quality of connections is not as important as quality of connections, right? So I have suppose like in Facebook, we have 1000, 2000 friends, right? That does not help. In the end, one or two friends are helping us. In this also, it's not important. It is, it is not, it is sometimes. It is good to have, to, ha uh, to have those uh, basically projects in the end. Sunset. You can put those lignite projects as well. But the first thing that uh, is really, really important is your experience, your education, your skills. That is an add-on that you can put basically, your, any DS projects. If the, uh, And always remember, putting those LinkedIn, putting those DS projects for the organization that you are working on, there is a no, uh, there is a basically confidentiality agreement also. So always remember uh, that if you are putting certain organizational specific uh, projects, only mention the generic details about it. Huh, I will share the uh, basically uh, format as well, basically how you can send those messages well. Now next we will clarify about connections. So basically uh, I just kind of uh, show you how you can send connections to relevant. What I do is I search for data scientists, right? And only the relevant people share. So I, I see that data scientists maybe it's something like that, data scientist city. So I just connect them, connect with them. As simple as that. So send connection requests to all of the relevant people that you see. They will help you in terms of when they send connection requests. If you want to apply for a job, suppose in Wells Fargo, you send some connection request uh, to basically those people. They might reply. And like Mukesh mentioned, only few people replied me. Yeah, that is the thing. 10 out of 10 times, there might be cases only two people reply. But if you are consistent, that too also might help you. And that's what happened with me as well. So when I was in AXA, I wanted to join Paytm. So I sent those connection requests, right? So the same thing happened. The same thing happened. I kept on sending for months and months. And in the end, in the end, what I had was one of the connections shared on their feed that Paytm is hiring for a uh, analytics position. Yeah, Mukesh, it happens. It happens, but you have to be consistent. So what happened is uh, all of those connections help in the sense that in the end, in the end, one of the connections basically shared a post that uh, this is basically uh, you basically uh, Paytm is hiring for a 
position in this. So I viewed that post and I sent that request and basically all the interviews started coming together. Right. So basically quality of connections is important. Uh, sending relevant instructions there. Now the next very important is the job search. You can apply basically through normal apply, through easy plan, through actively recruit, recruiting in LinkedIn. Let me very quickly show you. Within LinkedIn is there is this jobs basically, right? So you see here, this also helps, right? In LinkedIn jobs, uh, you have those easy applies, you have those actively recruiting here. And one of the good things is about is, uh, I've seen in many, many cases that if you apply through LinkedIn jobs, they def they might not, like you might not get the interview or schedules very, very quickly, but they will definitely help you uh, after some time. In my case also, and in many of my friends' case also, they applied through LinkedIn uh, jobs. They started getting those calls from after some time. So LinkedIn jobs is important, but LinkedIn jobs is important after you build a good profile because LinkedIn uses your profile metadata to send to those HR recruiters, especially for these easy applies. You see this easy apply basically here, right? If you click on this job and apply it, LinkedIn will use your profile headers and one resume that LinkedIn will ask you to upload. So for resume, you can view our video on YouTube for which you uh, for which we discussed about how to build a good uh, resume. And the next thing after viewing that video is you can use this to build a good LinkedIn profile, right? You can send those correction requests and then basically you can apply for those easy apply jobs if you are confident. This will use your resume and your LinkedIn profile to send those basically a combined format to all of those human resources or, or for that organization and they will view that in that manner so easy apply is very important is what what means it it just click and it will apply for all the others jobs that you have you have to basically uh, go to their career page and apply but one good thing is just remember that for all of the profiles that you are applying this actively recruiting is really important guys why because this organization is currently actively recruiting if you apply for if you apply for certain organizations like suppose there are organizations which are one month ago as well you might not get a reply you might not get in even an email you might not get in in these cases as well but the chances are higher so as as old the post is for the job right as old the post the lesser the chances for you to get an email for a scheduling and interview or everything so the quick takeaways linkedin easy apply is important in terms of one click you have to build a good resume you can view, view the video which reject sent you can you build a good profile keep all those for freshers keep all those educations and uh, whatever your interests are and skills for experience keep your experience education headers all of that intact right and uh, always look at always look at when the post was done do not do not go on a, go and keep on applying on the post that was six months ago always look at the timeline of the post for which you want to apply got it so like i mentioned there is normal apply which is through careers page there is an easy apply which just uses uh which is like a one or two click kind of and there is actively recruiting which basically is kind of that only just that this a, a prof, uh, company organization is actively recruiting so higher chances for you to get into the final list of candidates for which they want to interview and very important check the location do not apply for a location which in the end you do not want to uh, go in suppose if you have a preference for Delhi and CR region and you apply for a Bangalore job right and if the HR calls you and you say no no I, I don't want to go to Bangalore they will basically straight away uh, not screen your profile further so check the location, the date posted is very important, right? You can have a look at the applicants, like uh, so basically in terms of, uh, you can have a look at the profiles for some of the people who are within the organization. What are their skills? If they have updated their profiles, will definitely help you uh, to see what you where you are in that game, right? The company page, you can have a look at to see what that organization is doing, because if in the end you get interviewed or something hap something comes up in your, emails or someone contacts you, you should know about the organization and read very carefully about the job profile. If you are into data analysis right now and you are not confident with data science, right? do not apply for a data scientist role because the first step is the screening step. 
right? So they will have a look at your profile. They will have a look at your resume. And if they see that the relevance is not there, your profile is not get will not screen get screened further. And then you might think that you're not good enough for the job or not, not that. No, that is not the thing. They search for specific keywords within those profiles. In many organizations, there are scripts running. Right, they search for they use NLP and everything. They search for certain relevant tasks within your resume. They have a look at your profiles. Sometimes the HRs also look at your profile, and they have certain specific tags. Okay, uh, the predictive analytics, this, 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 this experience. So that is why that is why LinkedIn profile and resume are important for those tags basically for that screening step. After the screening, after you have secured yourself a schedule for an interview, your skills will help don't worry about the career gap don't worry about anything don't worry about uh, profession switch be confident with yourself be confident with your skills linkedin and resume are just to get you from step a to step b of securing the interview after that your confidence in your skills will help and find jobs through posts slash people right type the job name in the normal search bar and search for so for all those connections, so if for all those connection requests that you send, right, they will share certain uh, posts, and sometimes that posts might be for uh, sometimes that most might be that this company is hiring for this position, right? Like for data, how you see those posts that we have, we are having workshop on this and this day. Certain similarly, some people uh, uh, basically put those position here. So suppose one of the very quick thing is you put hashtag here which you are you should be aware of in terms of instagram you should you put hashtag hiring like here like in this and click on search basically let me open it again what i put is hashtag hiring right and what i put is i put other hashtags as well hashtag data and hashtag data right you see all of those posts coming here now i could see i could click on people as well if I want to collect all those relevant people, like in data science and this, this and this, if I want to see the posts, basically, right? In terms of if I want to see how many people have posted that for their organization they are hiring, click on posts, right? And see that for some of the, some of the people might have uh, put on some of the posts, like this is hiring, we are hiring, like Tesla is hiring for this and this. So what next, what you can do is you can click on this connection, you can send a connection request to them. They will, or if they do, they have a follow. You can message them after following, right? You can send a connection request to them, and after this, after this set, uh, accept your connection request. Shoot up your uh, shoot up your questions to them. So LinkedIn is a very good platform in terms of uh, searching for that. Can you use and on or in LinkedIn search? Oh, this is not an and or or. You just space them like data signs it will just put all those relevant in that it's i think in working in an and format all of those tags which are having or in an or format i think which are having hiring or data science or that all of that will come and what i basically basically do is if i want to connect with some of the relevant experts in the industry i go data scientist there i click on people right and then i send all those connection requests you can see that some of the connection requests are pending because i send those connection requests to them because staying connected with the experts help right so this is what you can do and next is the final step is job referrals which is a really important thing for basically everyone even for freshers or for uh, experienced people because the very high chances of getting an interview scheduled is basically about uh, getting the referrals in the end most of the organizations have a very high turnaround rate when it comes to job referrals and the candidate uh, ultimately joining the organizations. What job referral is, uh, one of the people from that organization will refer you for that job and you will get the interview call. It is it is the best step to get a, to land into a job and having the very high percentage of getting a, you an interview schedule. So very good step is find a job or a company in which you want to apply in. Like the first thing, like if I want to apply for, suppose Athena Health, which I am working on, I will find a job. And how can I find a job is basically I could go on to the careers page, right? And I can see what are the various openings in that organization, right? And then 
what I can do is I can send a connection request to someone belonging to the same company. That's what I did when I was in Paytm and I wanted to join other organizations. I had multiple offers, but in terms of that, I sent connection requests to Athena Health to some of the folks there, right? And I sent some message uh, after they accepted it. I sent a referral script to them that this is the job. I went on to the Athena Health career page. I saw that there is an uh, data science analytics position opening and this is the job id so every every job so so basically what referral does is it will increase your chances of getting an interview schedule referral is basically on the top because that is uh, for that organization someone from that organization itself referred you so company kind of uh, puts up those profiles for those one who have a referral and then basically other profiles might be reviewed so that is why referral is really, really important. And very quick steps is find a job or a company. If you want to join, suppose, uh, Athena Health, right, in analytics position. First, what I'll do is I'll go on to their careers page. Every organization has a career page. You just Google Athena Health careers or suppose you uh, Google uh, any other uh, Amazon uh, careers, right? You search for the role that you want to apply in, right? You have a job ID there there is a number attached to every job you look at their job id right if there is no job id some organizations might not even have a job id at least have that job name at least have that job name after after this after this send a connection request to someone belonging to that industry like suppose for amazon you send a connection request to the relevant people if you want to apply for data analysis positions data analyst within Amazons and what, how can I do it? Uh, I just do put it here, like, like it's just an example for Amazon or Mintra or any other, like data analyst, Athena Health or suppose what I put is as Mintra. Right, so connect with the relevant folks there, right? And after that, after connection, send a polite message asking for a referral for so-and-so job position. Create a short and sweet script. So the thing is, after you send, what I've what I've seen is, after we send a position, after we after we send a connection and we have the job ID, most of the people that send me connect send me messages are like, hey, hi, and then they go blank. We we might not have the time for you for us for uh, like I will not send you to hey hi and then you will send me a message again. This is not an instant messaging platform. You have to grab that opportunity at the exact same time. But at the same time, you have to be polite. You cannot just uh, keep uh, send a message saying, hey, I want to apply for this job, please refer me. No, this is, this is rude. You have to be polite. You have to send a message in terms of that. You, you, both of the things are getting catered to that you are sending your referral request as well. And at the same time, you are not sounding rude. So what I've done is I've created a very quick referral script here, which I basically, which I, I myself used in PTM time and Athena Health time. So this is a tried and tested thing. And this worked. So what I did was basically I, what I do is, I send the connection request to them, any anyone, like if you view my profile, right? And then after that, basically you message me, right? You message me and you find an opening within that, right? You say that, hey, first of all, keep it polite that you are doing well and staying safe in the pandemic. And then tell them that what, why I am writing this request to you, that I read a post regarding so-and-so organization and let me zoom in a bit as well. Like I'd read a post that you, like if they have uh, posted something, right? Uh, I read a post that they have open position in this team. I want to apply and this is the job ID. And also this is really important. Just give a glimpse of the, uh, basically, uh, your credentials to them. Suppose if a connection is there who do not even want to look at your LinkedIn profile because they do not have the time. And someone might not even have a look at your resume as well. Because not that they might not want to view. They might not have the time for it. So very quickly, just in fewer steps time, in few two or three lines, tell them your credential. That this is my current organization, this is my designation, this is my prior, this is my prior, and this is my skill set and my total experience is this. This is the really important keywords that in the end help you. 
and after that if they view your profile they can view your resume your projects and everything and deep dive into it but this is just in the case that they do not have the time to even look at your linkedin profile or even look at your uh, resu resume this will help them in if, if they think that you are really uh, suited for the job they will then look at your profile and resume and then in the end mention that i have also attached my resume attach your resume view the video that we have basically if you want if you have some doubts about how to build a good resume and then very politely say that hoping to discuss more with you for this opportunity thanks and regards uh, this is not right here always put thanks and regards in the end like this thanks and regards like this and put your name here and that's it and do not think that they will reply you uh, for freshers what you can do is uh, this same thing will work for current organization prior organization what you can do is basically put your educational background here and your skill set here total experience won't matter you can mention that i am uh, a student for this college as well currently per sorry i am currently pursuing my like pursuing btech in so and so and cs someone want to change their domain keep it honest keep your prior designation keep your current organization keep your skill set as the current one but mention that i am wanting to switch the domain basically do not and if you think if you like if you are a data engineer right mention all those data engineering skills and if you at the same time i have now till now learned python or sql mention them as well but you can also mention here i am looking for a switch for a switch from uh, data engineer to data uh, data science role basically we will provide the slides no worry but but the point is guys but the point is you can play around with the script for and but keep it my point is keep it polite do not just put that hey i i want a job and basically this is the job id and i want it please refer this is rude just keep it polite insert a few or lines here it is not a mandatory script if you if you are a fresher add some details like uh, i am working in this i am part of this college within this branch right if you are wanting to switch in very one or two lines like i am a data engineer this but wanting a switch in data science i am a data analyst but wanting a switch in data science right no do not put your projects or anything here in the scripts it 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 should be short and sweet always remember your resume your linkedin profile is fine for that right so this is this is guys what we discussed about how to build a good linkedin profile right this was the session and we'll give 2 minutes for the 2 or 3 minutes for the doubts that we have right you can post in the chat shrey has also been helping me with resolving some of them so that i can i could have focused i will have a look at the profiles as well and like right now shrey has sent you this link for the youtube channel on which we have uploaded the resume building and probably we will be uploading this as well so you can have a look at it so basically the point is in the end point is in the end a good linkedin profile resume and a linkedin is very really very important when it comes to upskilling yourself because many connections uh, have posts on their feeds right uh suppose data bhav tomorrow sends uh uh oppose that we are having another workshop on data science right you will get to know it on linkedin right and similarly uh, we might uh, someone have a, uh, might post that we are hiring for so and so organization and this is the skill set assessment test for the skill badge it is good to have it will help in terms especially for those cases especially for those cases of uh, easy apply or through linkedin job profile especially for those cases vishwajit 
so good to have you can have it if you're conf so, so it, it takes hardly even five minutes to get those skill badges if you're confident on this sql or python just click on it and do that test mukesh most of the employees not refer us so it might have been the profile is not valid it might have been uh, that the job that you applied might have been very old and it ha it happens with us as well right you have to stay consistent on linkedin you see a post that we are hiring for so and so job uh, you just do not wait for it for a week or two weeks or five weeks till the time the post gets stale so the thing is as soon as someone posts or as soon as uh, an organization opens up a new position right uh, various number of applicants they there are about 500 1000 2000 applicants come into the picture right and they have to look at all of their profiles so the quicker you are right and uh, the good uh, a good profile that you have right a good resume that you have uh, good in the terms of a well structured and a well structured profile and resume and the quicker you are in terms of highlighting that uh, job profile or that and that happens only if you have a lot of connections because they will post it that this organization is hiring and this is the skill you need to look at if anyone want to change companies follow all of this procedure as well send connection requests right uh, uh, build first of all build your linkedin profile then send connection request because certain connections might not accept it if you have not built a good linkedin profile S build a good linkedin profile uh, send connection requests look at those jobs in linkedin uh, look at people who are sharing those jobs uh, uh, and if you think you have found a good uh, job id send them this send them this right so we will be basically getting be getting over on this workshop we will keep on having these workshops again this was just to get you all into the mindset of it and before we go guys uh we have the data how is having a python workshop in a few days time so definitely it will help you build a good linkedin profile as well because your python skill will be basically uh upskilled right so i am posting this in the chat for anyone who hasn't registered register on it right and you can follow data how on linkedin you can follow data how on youtube you can connect with me or shrey on linkedin if you have any doubt shoot up a message to both of us or any one of us right we might not reply at the same time but we will definitely reply in some time Please subscribe us on YouTube. We will keep uploading these generic workshops, and we we will be have we will, and on LinkedIn. Why? Because all of the announcements that we make happen on LinkedIn. Basically, the first. So the point is, guys, use LinkedIn in the best manner, and then you will find good results to it. For anyone who was saying that I do not get replies, it happens even with me, even with professional folks but the chances will increase the chances will increase and stay consistent do not get demotivated it will happen no worries if you are switching or anything stay confident on yourself right keep up skilling yourself seven years gap uh, switching to a new profile 10 years gap no worries stay confident upskill stay connected with us on data we are we are there to help you shreya and i are both here to help you for any scenarios if you are switch specifically if you are switching within analytics data analytics data science machine learning and everything skills are important but at the end if you have those skills but if you do not portray them in the right format so suppose if i have a food prepared it is very tasty but in the end the presentation is not good my appetite would be lost right so in the end linkedin what linkedin is doing is it will it is preparing that ui for you for connections to review and at the same time you have you are getting those informations about that this organization is hiring right now you are getting to connect with a lot of experts right so this was the session basically on linkedin register on this workshop on python that we have coming in a few days time on tuesday i think 
shoot up questions on linkedin to us or shrey on whatsapp as well if you are part of the whatsapp group right we will keep having these workshops and thank you all for joining us on all on this sunday morning now you all guys can have a sip of tea right and enjoy your sunday we are there to help you thanks everyone thanks for joining